appreciate all my colleagues allowing me to go ahead. I appreciate your including on the agenda today Robert Shelby's nomination to the U.S. District Court for the District of Utah. Our state is growing fast, and our federal judges really do work hard. And filling this final vacancy is important, and I appreciate you helping to move it forward. It means a lot. Whenever we have a ju judicial vacancy in Utah, no matter who occupies the White House, I look for a candidate, and so does Senator Lee, to recommend who is widely respected in the legal community and who can be widely supported by the Senate. Bob Shelby, Shelby certainly meets that test. Bob received his undergraduate degree from the University of Utah and has been an active member of the bar at the county, state, and national levels since graduating from the University of Virginia Law School in 1998. After clerking for the late U.S. District uh, Judge J. Thomas Green in Utah, Bob spent the last dozen years in private practice. He has tried approximately 35 <coughs> cases to verdict in both state and federal court, and in 2011 managed the defense of a major national class action case. Bob has also served on the Utah Supreme Court's Advisory Committee on the Rules of Civil Procedure and its Ethics and Discipline Committee. His courtroom experience includes both civil and criminal cases before both state and federal courts and in both trial and appellate courts. This breadth of experience equips Bob well to be an effective judge. This will not be Bob's first uh, period of public service. He served in the Utah Army National Guard from 1988 to 1996 serving on active duty as a combat engineer during Operation Desert Storm and receiving several military awards. So I want to thank him for being willing to serve once again and believe he will be a judge committed to fairness and the rule of law. Now, Mr. Chairman, I strongly support Bob Shelby's nomination and commend him to my committee colleagues, and I hope this committee and the full Senate will approve his nomination as soon as possible, and I appreciate all of you cooperating on this. Thank you, and I um, understand Senator Grass is going to have a statement for the record, but Senator L and 